Hi everyone, I'm so excited. It's May the 6th today. I'm packing up to go to Yerevan for about five days. Tomorrow we're gonna go to Vanatsor together, me and my friend that I'm staying at her house. I'm usually never excited for Yerevan, but this time I'm very excited for Yerevan. So we should be checking out a few museums. Um, it's gonna be nice, some cultural museums and some other stuff. Um, on another note, I'm closing up a very big cycle the last 18, 19 years of my life um, for the next present moment up to the next six months, okay? So with that being said, you're gonna, you've are gonna you been hearing me talk a lot about family issues, you know, even though I don't talk to my family anymore, but it's been really ingrained in me where, you know, it's dictating, has been dictating who and what and how I'm allowing and not allowing people. So if you take a look at this, doesn't this look like an eclipse? Look at how fascinating. Right at the right timing too. So yeah, in regards to family, you know, as an example, you know, growing up people from the outside, not everyone, because a lot of people here that I've seen my mom or like photos of my mom, they're like, you don't look like your mom at all. Like your, you, your hair, your face, your features, you must look like your father. You don't look like your mom. But when it comes to my mom's friends, um, she doesn't really have friends anymore. But, you know, people that she knew and her family, her brothers, and, you know, they would always say, no, Talad, you're a replica of your mom. The way you talk, the way you act, <clears throat> your face, everything, you, the way you carry yourself, your body, everything is like your mom. So... In that case scenario, you have to, you're strong like your mom, your mom is strong. You have to understand something. My mom is not strong. My mother is controlling. There is a very big difference between strength and control. The way my mother fears, feels powerful and exerts strength to people, which dictates what she says, what she does for other people, is stems from control. If she can control how you think, if she can control how her kids think, if she can control how you view her and how she raises her kids and how she raises her grandkids and how she goes about her life and how she goes about her work and how she goes about her retirement and how she goes about her boyfriend that's paying her who tried to touch her daughter and her granddaughter and they pretend like nothing happened because it's a control mechanism and that's why she feels strong and looks strong and acts strong. No, that's not strong. That's control. For over 30 years that I've known my mother, I'm 36 years old this month on the 14th. And I'm 100% sure this has not changed. She would wake up early in the morning and start screaming at everything, at everyone, at me, cursing, cursing, cursing my father, cursing my father's family, cursing our household, cursing everything, cursing everything, cursing everything. She would come home at night cursing everyone, fighting, arguing, fighting, arguing, invoking the devil, invoking this, cursing, control, 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 control. I don't do these things. For me, the second I wake up, I want peace. At home, I want peace. When I go outside, I want peace. You know what peace is? Peace in here and peace with other people. What she does is manipulation and scare tactics to control. When we were kids, and this would still happen now, if we didn't cut a tomato, or even working with her, if we didn't cut a tom tomato, holding the tomato a certain angle with the knife, holding it a certain, a certain angle, she will come in and start screaming because there's no peace in here and there's no peace in here with her. Control, control, control. And then because her daughter, her older daughter and her, her son developed a mental disorder because of her screaming, screaming, screaming. <laughs> because there's no peace in here, and everybody grew up like a military fucking, they have to act like this and do this. Everyone from outside, she, the way my mom portrays it, she makes it, she tries to shut everyone up that she doesn't have these anger problems. There's nothing wrong with her that everybody sees, oh, my mother is strong. 
So after my, my dad died, it was always about, go to your father, go to your father's side, go die with your father, go to your, no one gives a fuck about you from your father's side, on her own. No one saying anything, nothing, 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 because there's no peace in here with her, okay? And she's very guilty. And so all her life, she's been working the family business. They could have easily hired people, but because she's controlling, she doesn't like hiring people. She wants her kids to work for free. She makes it look like my father's dead. He, it, my father was always sick. His brain, he's not smart. My, the reasons why we ever had successful businesses to begin with, because my, my father was a businessman. And my mom was controlling because she wanted to take over, but she is so terrible in mathematics. She's only good at being nice to people at work. Okay? And she would make it look like, okay, and then, you know, the list goes on. She was just always everything. You're ugly. Get out of my life. No one likes you to me. On her own. No one's saying anything on her own, okay? Because there's no peace in here, and there's no peace in here. Um, and let's keep this short, but she would go on her day and she would start telling people, oh, I got to come home. I got to cook and clean. I got to go home. And it's screaming and shouting. Oh, it's because I'm so strong. Oh, if you were strong, you would get a fucking employees. You would be there for your daughter. You would take your daughter to school. You would feed your daughter. You would put lunches, lunch box in her lunch box and take her. You would sit there and you would raise your kids. You would implement intelligence in your kids. You would implement development in your kids. None of that. And if she did cook and clean for the house or for my father, she would do it Again, with screaming and to show people that she's doing so, um, She would show everybody how she's very hospitable because she would come home from work all day working all day. Uh, she's so strong. Um, and then all of a sudden she'd make a feast. She'd invite over her brothers or whatever and she'd make a feast of food because she wants to look a certain way. And then she would be all lying to people. Oh, you know, we're such a loving family. Yeah, tell her to get up, go serve this, please. Yeah, Ara, come bring me this. And then she'd attack me. Oh, my daughter doesn't do anything all day. She doesn't do anything. She doesn't work. She doesn't help me. Just, it, it goes on. The list goes on. Listen, there's a difference between me and how I operate with this. First of all, I'm not cooking for you. I'm not inviting you to my house to put a show on to make you believe that I'm a loving and giving person, okay? Me and my mom are not the same at all. The other day I, I was going for a walk. I had my hair up in a bun by myself, of course. I went for a walk. And this Russian guy, he's walking with his dog and his dog just was coming up to me and I was like petting the dog. And he tried speaking to me in Russian and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, I, I don't speak Russian. And then he just kept talking, talking, talking. And then all of a sudden I said, something else and then he goes you are strong in english and i said oh okay yes but here a lot of people see me as strong because i am strong because i back my shit up in a sense what i mean by that i do everything on my own i live alone i show strength because i have so many tattoos on my face in armenia on my body in Armenia. I buy a house on my own. I have a business on my own. <laughs> I've traveled everywhere on my own. My mother doesn't travel anywhere. My mother's never bought in a house on her own. My father always dug, got it. My mother never got a business on her own. She never d worked it on her own. My mother constantly needs people. She cannot live alone. There's a big difference, guys. Me and my mom have nothing in common. For me, peace of heart, peace of mind is the most important thing. For me, self-love is the important thing. I'm not going to put a show on when I'm not that way. I project other people's fears and insecurities because I'm self-aware. My mother is not self-aware. She'll deny it. She'll deny all of it as being real. To control you. To control how you view her. I don't operate like that. There's a big difference between me and my mother. Control and strength and independence and codependence is not.